Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to flip this thrifted tray into a beautiful Valentine's Day decoration. What you're going to need for this project is a thrifted small tray, soft pink chalk paint, the IOD seed catalog transfer, and general finishes flat out flat sealer. To begin, go ahead and start by cleaning your tray, get rid of any dust or debris. And once it's dry, grab that light pink chalk paint and paint the whole surface, including the bottom. Depending on the material of the tray you thrifted, you are probably, more than likely, going to need a additional coat of paint. As you can see here, I'm painting over that first layer with the same color of the pink chalk paint. And you can see it already makes it so much more opaque and it really just makes it pop. Go ahead and grab your IOD seed catalog transfer. A lot of these designs go so well with that pink color so it was difficult to choose but in the end we went with this design with those beautiful luscious pink and red roses. We thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Next, we're gonna peel the protective backing off of the transfer. The transfer side is going to be sticky, so try not to touch it until it is sitting on the face of your project. And use your hands to lock it in place, as you can see I am doing here. Once that is set, grab your stick and start to rub the design on. Make sure to get into the curves at the bottom of the tray as well. And once it is peeled off, you're going to be left with this beautiful design, the roses, the colors. I just love the pink on pink, especially for the Valentine's Day season. Go ahead and grab your General Finishes Flout Out Flat Sealer, and with a soft brush, apply the sealer onto the face of the tray wherever you put the, the transfer. The sealer is going to help lock in that design, make sure the transfer doesn't crack or peel in any way. It also just gives it a much glossier look that kind of just brings the whole project all together. Once the first layer of top coat is dry, go ahead and do a second layer. And just like that, you guys, this tray is complete. This was super quick, super easy. I love how you can have this on its own as a decoration, or if you want to put any knickknacks or jewelry on it as well, go ahead and like and subscribe for more DIY crafts.